All right, and we're back here now, and we're working our Bahamut video animation illustration, whatever you want to call it. Gotta check my brush here real quick. Um, I think I changed the size of it, but it doesn't matter. All right, so we'll go back to our illustration and we'll turn our onion skin on. Um, so now with that, I'm just gonna touch up some little areas um, that I felt like needed some touching. All right, just something like that, really. All right, so now let's go ahead and actually start. Um, I'll come back and fix some of the line strokes a little bit later. Because we're going to go back and do a thick line stroke around the whole thing. But for right now, let's just work on the chest area. Um, so for Bahamut, I'm just going to do something real simple. We're not going to make it too crazy or anything. We're going to have his neck area kind of expand it across the chest lining a little bit. So with that being said... Let's just clean up some of the line stroke here. And actually, let's let's bring it back in the middle. We, won't, we don't want it to get too out of control because when I post the video, I want it to be um, visible for the whole thing. Um, so let's keep working on this line here. It's a little messy. Even though it looks straight, it's a little messy. Let's clean up some of the connection of the line right there. Let's connect it here. Okay. Cool. Alright, so let's put let's just clean up some of that right there, right? Alright, so now as you can see, I got some of his arm um, some of the illustration right there but I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the chest a little bit now I've seen some different versions of how his chest is but um, I think I'm gonna do something like this here I want to split it off like that just go ahead and thicken the line up a little bit for ourselves right here Clean it up, boom. That's too big. I do want to kind of clean it up though, right in that little area there. That's fine. That should be fine. All right, so now let's go ahead and connect it, this part of the chest together in a curve. We're giving it that curve because we want it to have some style, right? I want to give it some style. Something like that right there. And we'll probably come up right here to kind of help. We'll probably end up changing this over here to kind of help um, match the other side a little bit. Sorry. Okay. Oh, it's good. messages and stuff while I'm streaming. Um, so something like that. Boom. Let's turn off our onion just to kind of see. Ah, it's already kind of ugly a little bit, honestly, but um, what we'll probably do is just kind of clean this up right there like that to kind of help keep it ignore oh my media encoder closed I'm gonna have to get to that later I was outputting a okay no don't say I was outputting a video and uh, I guess it must have crashed or something that's fine um, I've been working on another video all day and I'm just trying to output it but I'm having some trouble with that so well, I said that's fine what we're gonna do is keep cleaning up over here a little bit. Mm, okay. 
Not a bad start, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and fill in a shoulder. Sort of like that. I'm gonna go ahead and draw through the face. Because what we're gonna end up doing is animate the face, the head a little bit. And I don't want to separate that line too much. What we'll do is just go ahead and erase that. So what we'll probably end up doing anyway is bringing the shoulder down like that. And just fill this in with, with black. Something like that there. I will put like a little line in there to show kind of this kind of like a scale, but it's definitely a shoulder. that right there. Okay. Don't worry about drawing through this face here. So what we'll do is just go ahead and take these lines, merge them together. Because later on, when we get to the head, um, all we gotta do is just move that. And it's, it's not gonna affect it at all. So that's cool. All right, so let's go back to our drawing here. So what I did, I didn't do this in a video. I went ahead and moved his arm here because I felt like it was a more natural position to have it going in the same direction. I was thinking like my body is turned in the direction. I don't have my arms going like this, right? They're going together like that. So I put his arms in the same direction. Um, so um, let's get back to the chest real quick though before we go to the arms. Do a line like that, just kind of help show that this is that he has like a, a layer to his chest. I saw this black and I'm, I'm just kind of I'm liking how it's flowing on here. Okay, now the cool part is we can draw in the torso. I love the snaky like torso, the S shaped thing that's going on here, this head and his, and his body. Um, it's one of the coolest kind of things, it's the most satisfying things to draw. So we're just gonna go ahead and draw some precursor lines here. Uh, I think that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, we may, I'm not sure how I feel about this here, but we're just gonna go ahead and run with it because try to do something that's kind of natural. Let's go ahead and strengthen up the black lines. Here. Hold on. 
Yeah, sorry, I had to turn the audio off for a second. Um, but, so I just, all I did was uh, thicken up the line a little bit all the way around. I didn't get too concerned with the bottom of it because I'm gonna end up putting um, his thighs and legs and um, bottom torso in and drawing on top of it anyway. So, um, what I'm gonna do now though is go ahead and do some of the areas around his legs. And we're just going to put in some, some lines here just to kind of help show that this is like more like a fleshy connection part to his body. Um, I'll come back to the middle of the, of the torso later on. I'm not 100% whether I'm going to put like, scales and stuff in there. Um, I haven't really decided on scales and the body structure and armor and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I do know this portion of his design is going to have these kind of like large mechanical looking kind of thighs to give it kind of a flavor to his design. So, so this is going to be the top part of his thigh area. I just had it connected to the torso like that. I could do more of a thick to thin line ratio kind of thing and that probably would make it look more appealing but um, for these drawings I'm just focusing more on the the uh, the design of the character and just making it look kind of like a, a pop art kind of thing not necessarily like your full-on rendered illustration you would do for like a client or something like that um, this is just for me this is just for fun so uh, yeah, that's why I'm drawing it like that. That's why I'm not really doing so much of the uh, thick thin. I'm going back and I'm thickening up the lines rather than going from the thick to thin as much. I'm still doing it, but it's not as apparent. Um, so 
So now let's go to the back part of the leg. This is the part I was really waiting to see how it turns out because um, it, was, it was an interesting choice to make it like this, to make his legs like this, like a double hinge leg basically. And um, let's just bring it down, try to make it look as natural as possible but without it looking really crazy. So yeah, let me, let me go back and thicken up this line here, because it does look kind of out of place now. The line looks a little weak. I'll leave that line, that little this little scraggly line right here. I'm going to leave that for now, because I'm not sure whether I actually really want to delete it and get rid of it just yet. But let's go ahead and get his toe claws. And for his toe claws, um, what we kind of want to do is still his toe, but it's a long claw. And um, we want to kind of show that it's a part of his foot but it's just like an extended claw, basically. So what we're gonna do is kind of give it some like, not hinges, but definitely some knuckles going um, all the way down on the top and bottom. So I'm actually probably gonna get rid of this line here. And then I'm looking at uh, an example of someone else did like a full on illustration, like a concept illustration, but I don't think I'm gonna do it I'm using it as a reference, but I don't want to do it exactly like how they have it. I think it's something more in that direction. So I'm still trying this all out. I've never drawn Bahamut before. So a lot of this is still very trial and error. don't have to get too involved with it at the moment. Just do his middle claw knuckle. Doesn't have to be perfect. some lines to kind of help because when I draw toes on regular people I put like this extra little line, lip line right here kind of helps show that the in-between of the fingers you see how it's not just a straight line back it's actually a little crease in there too it's showing that there's like extra skin creasing in between the toes and the fingers um, so you always want to kind of draw that sometimes too Draw the last toe knuckle claw. Let 
Let's actually fix this line here. I'm gonna erase it. Fix this one too. Up the line. I'm not sure I, I like this anymore. I'm looking at it, I'm not sure I did this right. Um, let me make sure. Straight is a curve, straight, curve, straight. up a little bit. I wanted to match the other one, but um, I'll be honest, I'm having a little bit. I could copy and paste it, but I wanted to feel, I want it to look a little more natural than just copy and paste. I want it to look like it was hand drawn again. Honestly, this one, this little line here is kind of, I think it's what's throwing it off. Clean up some of the lines here now. Ooh, that was, it's a line that goes all the way down, so we just gotta I want to erase it rather than deleting it. And I'll just clean up the thickness so it matches this whole line. So I'm not sure this line is needed anymore. Like that looks a little bit. That looks a little bit better. All right, it's not too bad. So let's zoom out. I probably didn't have to put that much detail into the toes, but. I just wanted to make sure it looked like something I would I would fall in love with. I wanted to fall in love with this design and make sure I would be satisfied with it. Now I'm just trying to make sure that I put some like I'm gonna put some like crease or something into this into this part of the toes kind of help, or not crease, but maybe even just some kind of like tendon line or something. We'll see. 
Eh, nah, I'm not liking any of it. It's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll come back to that. But now I just want to kind of try out some, um, some lines of, like, like muscle, almost. some dark shadows in some of these areas that have like crease like sections where like muscles would bundle up a little bit not too bad so what we'll probably do is throw a little more shadow into this here Not sure I really dig that 100%, but for right now, we're gonna leave it and move on because I feel like if I stick to it too much, I might be looking at it too hard and I might start doing stuff I don't, I really won't like. Um, but let me go back and look at the original design. Let me look at this one. Yeah, I I can tell there's already some things I'm not gonna like about it, but it's it's fine for now. Let's go ahead and get to the other thigh area. Now, this is where it's going to actually... We're going to get to see now the other side that is missing from um, this side. On this side, we'll be able to see what's missing from the other side. So we've kind of got a basic shape of where it's going to go here. And let's get the other side here. Probably go ahead and erase this. back here. We'll probably straighten this line up with some darkness basically. Just kind of help show that it connects there. Something like that. It's not bad. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and erase this torso section. That's why I didn't give it a lot of attention because I already knew we were going to erase it from earlier. We can go ahead and delete that now. It looks pretty proportionate. Um, I already see you down here. Some of the black I'm gonna have to end up erasing or something like that. And again, we're not, you know, not really um, getting too bogged down on this. We're just gonna take our time. While we're doing this, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the talons. Ah, shoot. So, it's long curve, stop, up curve, and down it. Now erase this bottom section here. I have to delete, but they're erasing then delete. So 
So with that now, what we're gonna do, see on this foot, which I'm gonna have to go back and clean up some of the blocks. I'm not liking that too much. On this foot, um, we're seeing it from the side, but this foot, we're seeing it directly straight on. And it's a little closer to us, that's why it's bigger. So what we're gonna do is, um, the claw's gonna end up being, we're seeing the top side of it. So it's kinda like that. Right? Um, and then what we're gonna do is actually draw the knuckle and kind of like a uh, like a like a bubble almost like a half bubble we're not going to just draw lines going straight out because we're looking at it straight on we're looking at how wide the knuckle is basically so it's going to probably look something kind of like that there This is going to have to be fixed a little bit. Wanted to show. I feel like we're getting a little too bogged down on too many lines here by doing it that way. But I do still want to kind of show that they merge kind of into. This is what I was trying to do. I knew, I knew there was there was some kind of line format I wanted to do. You want to kind of show the tendons going on. You see in your hands, you can see all the bone and the line coming down to your finger. It's the same thing with your feet and your toes. You can see the lines coming all the way down. So I want to kind of show that for these bipedal, um, like double jointed legs. I was couldn't figure out in my mind how that looks, but now I kind of figured it out just by playing with some of the line strokes. Um, so it's going to look kind of like some lines coming down like that, like that, and then you have them separate and then kind of come back at the bottom. So we're going to do that over here now. Kind of like that. We'll we'll come back and fix that up. But that's kind of the uh, sort of the concept. Sort of the concept, right? Um, so we can come back and put some more detail onto this a little bit later. Honestly, I just want to erase some of this line stroke. Let's put me here. It's probably a little too much. Save it. Definitely want to save it. And we'll put some of the some line strokes in here, but like on the like on the other leg, we're not going to get too bogged down into a lot of the details just yet. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so, just a little bit longer, and then we'll cut the video. Um, what I want to do now is probably the arms. I want to plan the arms out a little bit. I want to kind of put something out there. So, do something kind of like this. Just do a. Um, 
we're not going to get too crazy with the what we put in here, but we definitely want to give it some some style. So let's start with the, the uh, forearms first. Let's make it jagged. Something kind of like that. And his hand is actually going to come down, similar to the to the toe knuckles, toe claws. But for this, we're going to add an extra knuckle instead of doing. So the claws have one joint, two joints. For this, we're gonna give it three joints. We're gonna give him four claws in total instead of three claws, including the, the thumb claw as well, to kind of show that he has hands and fingers and stuff. And we're just gonna do a basic Kind of like uh, we're not gonna get too bought down into the details. We're gonna get the shapes down real quick. One, two, three, and then the claw. And then for the hands, it's probably a little too small. And let's just go ahead and race and do it again. One, two. Three, claw. Not, not, not. See, it's, it's, it was big enough, but then it was too straight. So we gotta make sure it curves. One, two, three, claw. Then we want it to taper to the top. So let's start at the knuckle, at the, that where it connects to the hand. We're gonna do it where it's, it's gonna curve up and it's gonna be fat. And then it's gonna, as you get down to the fingertip, it's gonna taper down, kind of like that. Um, so we already got it started over here. We're gonna connect it to the to the uh, wrist. That's just a, a simple straight line. Let's do another one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Claw. And it's okay for the middle one to be a little longer because um, it's kind of like the middle finger. It's okay for the middle finger to be a little longer than the rest. Kind of like uh, that third claw in the back there. We're going to give it a little more love. So we're not going to be able to show the full claw, I think. But what we'll do. So because it would be like that. And like, it would be like that. Like that like that so we're not going to see all of it so what we're going to do is just put that we're just going to erase all that right there and we actually you know what we might just be able to just turn it let's just turn it excuse me we'll just turn it up just a little bit just to kind of help show I'm gonna curve the tip of the claw down a little bit more. It's too fat. Uh, this is kind of kicking my ass a little bit. Um, usually. I'm just not liking how it's looking. Let's delete all of that. Don't. Yeah, just don't worry about that. I'm gonna be uh, clipping the video any second now, anyways. Just dog. Um, and there's that there. I'm just gonna put some lines there to kind of help show the in betweens.
I didn't want to just connect the arm like some normal, um, like some normal arm. Um, I wanted to kind of help show this, this, I want to put more flavor to it. I want it to kind of be a little jagged, a little, um, a little more dragon-like. So what we'll probably do for this, I did, I am copying and flipping this only because, um, I just don't feel the need to draw all these, these fantastical lines over and over and over. Um, actually, we may draw some of the fingers over a little bit, so I'll just put this back. Maybe we can just flip the hand, see how that works out. Oh, oh, that's what, so what we'll do, so we'll just delete that part of the hand. And we'll draw it connect to connect all the way down there like that. And then we'll just connect it down there like that. Actually, what we'll probably do is just move the thumb up and turn it to kind of help show that it's under the hand and not connected to the wrong side of the hand. I think that's probably the best way to uh, go about doing that. We're going to group this arm because I don't want to just do this like this. I'm not just going to connect the arm like that. Um, and I want to I want to move the whole arm together. And then we're going to zoom in and then connect the arm like that. And then uh, I want to delete. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's move the arm. Let's connect all these pieces that we just drew. Ungroup it. Flatten it so it's one piece. And then we'll move... Oh, oh, oh. I missed one. Flatten it. We'll move it to the side. And then we're going to get this piece of the leg right here that we haven't finished. And we're going to... We're going to copy it. No, we're to group it. No, actually ungroup it. Copy it. And then paste it. Put it over here and then group it. We're going to group this over here because I'm going to delete. I'm going to erase in this area here. But I don't want to necessarily give it up. So the best way of doing that is just to copy it. A, a version of it. And put it on the side. So later on, if I feel like, oh man, I made a mistake. I'm going to go back to it. I have that copy that's going to sit right there. So let's take that arm that we originally... We're playing around with. Let's put it, let's connect it back to his body right here. Boom. Now let's go in here real quick. Let's copy this arm, let's take this arm away, put it on the next layer. Let's go back and then put an onion skin on. See where this green is? That's where our arm is at. That's where it's gonna sit when we bring it back. So let's get our eraser tool. And let's erase that portion of the leg that we want it to keep. And just erase whatever's inside that green. Boom. That looks good. Alright, turn our onion skin off. Go back and grab that arm. Bring it back. Boom. Now it's one connected version of Bahamut's. Um, I think that's enough for this portion of the video. We, we did the head earlier in the other video. So this far, we've drawn the arms. We started the arms. We got a good start on the legs. And we did an outline for the torso as well. Um, I think that's more than enough for this clip. So the next one, we'll probably work on some more detail in the arms and the torso. We'll add the tail. And on the last video, we'll probably work on the wings. Um, and then after we got them all drawn and everything, then we'll go ahead and do some versions of the wings flapping for the animation. 
and um, and then we can do the color after that. All right. 